Did you know there's a special mantra from Jesus that can change your life? We're always searching for those magic words, rituals, and affirmations to make the universe work for us. What if I told you that everything you need is already right in front of you? In the next few minutes, I'm going to reveal Jesus' secret mantra. This mantra created miracles and opened doors that were once closed. It can help you unlock the universe and remove what's blocking you. But before I share it, there's something important you need to understand. Without this key insight, the mantra won't work. As Jesus said, by their fruits, you will know them. The changes in health, wealth, or love are signs of the inner shift that come after repeating this mantra. When your inner world changes, so does everything around you. Your energy and outlook align with your new reality. People often live by familiar vibes, guided by their subconscious. When your vibe changes, others might not recognize it, but that's a sign you're on the right path. The word I'm talking about is simple, so simple it's often overlooked. But trust me, the simplicity of this word is what makes it strong. All you need is faith in this word and the discipline to use it every day. The law of attraction teaches us that everything in the universe vibrates at a certain frequency and that similar vibes attract each other. Our thoughts, which are the core of this vibe, shape our reality. The power of the word is clear because it turns thoughts into reality. We create with our thoughts and our words, and this creation is tied to the vibe we give off. Our main thoughts, whether they are of abundance or poverty, eventually show up in our lives. Often, the reality we face today comes from past thoughts and fears. For example, someone who fears poverty may unknowingly attract it into their life. At some point, the idea of poverty might have taken root in your mind, maybe from a family incident or too much bad news. You started worrying about becoming poor, and over time, that thought has become your reality. The same can happen with illness or heartbreak. We attract what we think about most. Buddha said, we are the result of what we have thought. What we focus on grows, whether it's poverty, illness, or heartbreak. Whatever we pay attention to becomes our reality. So how do we shift our attention to the things we truly want? There's a simple yet powerful way, but it's often overlooked because we don't fully believe in it or use it. The magic is in a single word, one that I'm about to share with you. The Bible says, God said, let there be light. And in the Gospel of John, it says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. This means that the Word became real, becoming part of our world. It's a principle of creation. This magic word guides your attention and influences what happens in your life. By choosing what to focus on, you can open or close doors to blessings. That's why controlling what people focus on, like through media, is so powerful. It shapes their thoughts and lives. Those who control focus shape the world. So, take charge of your focus and direct it toward what truly matters to you. If you've already turned off the television and are ready, let's talk about this magic word that opens doors. When you see this word, please try not to say, I already know. Those three words, I already know, are some of the most harmful you can say. They can close the doors to blessings. Why? Because if you truly knew, you would already have those blessings in your life. If you're dealing with any kind of limitation, whether in your finances, health, or relationships, it's a sign that you don't fully know. That's why Jesus said, Blessed are the children, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Children are humble. They approach life with curiosity and openness. A child would never say, I already know. They're always eager to learn and grow. Jesus of Nazareth said, By their fruits, you will know them. It's a simple truth, but it's powerful. Before I reveal the word to you, 
Let me explain something important, because I don't want the meaning of this word to be lost. I need you to understand everything I'm sharing with you before you see the word. This isn't about keeping secrets. It's about making sure the word really connects with you. Please don't share the word in the comments because it could affect someone else's journey. If someone sees the word without understanding its full meaning, it won't have the same impact. The explanation I'm giving is to help your mind see the importance of this word to help you bring the blessings it can offer. You might think you already know it, but that's why I want to warn you. Those three words, I already know, can block your blessings. Jesus said, by their fruits, you won't know them. Think of a tree. Its fruits reflect its roots. The roots, which are like your inner world, create the fruits, which are the results you see in your life. When you say, I know, if you truly did, you would see the fruits of abundance in your life. If you don't see those fruits, if instead you're experiencing scarcity, illness, or a lack of love, it means there's more to learn. Your mind might make you think you know, but that's just a way to hold yourself back. So I encourage you, don't say, I know anymore. Now I'm going to write this word down for you. If you catch yourself thinking, I know, what I'm asking for is a full and sincere commitment to yourself, not to me, but to yourself. You are the one who can change your life. Take it from someone who has gone from poverty to wealth, from sickness to health, from bad relationships to wonderful ones. This word can change everything. This word is gratitude. It might seem simple, but it has a lot of power. When you focus on being grateful, you move your energy toward abundance. The law of attraction tells us that where we put our attention, our energy follows. So when you focus on what you're thankful for, you bring more good things into your life. Albert Einstein once said he would go for walks and repeat, thank you with every step, feeling grateful for everything in his life. When you are grateful, you vibrate at a higher level and you attract success and abundance more quickly. Gratitude is the best way to connect yourself with the energy of achievement. Don't just take my word for it. Try it yourself. Make a habit of living with gratitude. Let it fill your thoughts, your feelings, and every part of your body. I promise you, it will change your life. But don't just believe me. See for yourself. I want you to commit to bringing more gratitude into your life, to making thankfulness a daily practice. The Bible says, pray without ceasing. Jesus taught that whatever you ask for in prayer, believing that you already have it, will be yours. Gratitude is the highest form of prayer because it shows that you believe you already have what you need. Be thankful for what you have and for what you don't have yet, as if it's already yours. Speak it into existence with gratitude, and you will see it come true. Gratitude is wealth. Complaining is poverty. Keep this in mind, and it will change your life forever. Thank you for watching.